Tanks is a mini game in Game Pigeon, and even though no one plays it anymore, I decided to solve the game with physics, so here it is. Here are the 6 variables in the game, including 2 adjustable parameters, power and angle, one constant that changes every round in the game, which is the direction and the magnitude of the wind, two constants that changes every game, which is the distance between two tanks and height of the hill, and finally gravity, which is a constant value every game. First, let's figure out what power is. So I launched the bullet straight up with different powers and measured the highest point in the trajectory in pixels, as well as the time it took to reach the highest point in frames. From here, we can figure out the gravitational acceleration in this world. Start with the kinematics equation and still for acceleration as shown. We can now add another column with the derived formula and take the average to find the approximate gravity value. Then, we can figure out the initial velocity of the launch for each power with the following equation. Again, start with the kinematics equation and solve for velocity. When power and this initial velocity is graphed, we get this equation, which converts the power in game to initial velocity in pixel per frame. Next, the wind power, which is indicated by this gauge at the top, varies from 9 arrows to the left to 9 arrows to the right. In order to figure out exactly how strong the wind is, I once again launched the bullet straight up at 90 degrees, but this time with a constant power of 100, and measured the wind power and the horizontal offset in pixels. Since we know the initial velocity and therefore the time in the air of the bullet from the previous equations, we can then figure out the horizontal velocity caused by the wind. When plotted, they yield this equation that converts the wind power in game to horizontal velocity caused by the wind in pixel per frame. Finally, with these equations, we can derive an equation that, given delta x, delta y, wind power, and shot power, returns the appropriate angle of the shot. First, solve for the time the projectile remains in the air with kinematic equation and quadratic formula. Then, we can simply just multiply this value by the horizontal velocity which remains constant, which is the sum of the horizontal component of initial velocity and the wind power to get delta x. Since I don't want to solve this equation for theta, I'm just going to write a program that tries every integer degree of theta and returns the angle when this mess is the closest to delta x. The code can be found in the description. Now, let's see the program in action.